Here's how I recreated the most popular GPTs in the GPT store in under 10 minutes without a single line of code or any third party tools. I'll show you my step by step process on creating custom GPTs tailored to your needs. Also, I'll show you how to train these GPTs on your own data and custom instructions so you can rank first, second or third place on the GPT store leaderboard. No complicated setups, just a proven method for building high performing personalized GPTs. Enjoy watching. So to access the GPT store and build your own GPT, you will need a plus subscription. If you have it, then go to export GPTs in the left upper corner. Here you have a list of all GPTs ranked by their use cases. We will take a look at write for me, which is the most popular GPT in the writing category and recreate it. So I click start and pick the first conversation starter. Write me a 1000 word analysis on the future of GPT. It gives me an answer with an outline and the text itself. As you see, according to the outline, there should be 1000 words. Ok, let's check it. We copy and paste this text into the word counter and we see that it doesn't even reach the 600 word mark. That's funny, because in the description you can see precise word count. Let's create a better competitor for this tool. Go to the GPT section and click create. Here we will create our GPT. At the top, you can see Create on Configure tabs. I like to build GPTs through a conversation in the Create section and refine it in Configure section. Basically, they are the same, but they just have different interfaces. So let's give the GPT builder a prompt. Make a writing assistant that will write articles, essays, product descriptions, etc. Focus on quality and precise word count. GPT builder suggests a name for our tool, but let's change it to Writer Pro. After that, it will suggest a profile picture and here you can either upload your picture or generate one with Delhi. I decided to change this picture to a hand with a pen in black and white colors. This one is not that good, so I typed try another one and finally we have a good profile picture. Now the GPT builder asks how do we want our writer pro to work, what kind of writing to focus on and what style and tone do we want. Focus on academic and blog writing, use professional English and precisely observe the number of words. Now, once everything is ready, let's check the configure tab. Here we can adjust all the elements like profile picture, name, description and conversation starters. I don't like the default description, so let's change it to this. I would also recommend you adjust the conversation starters so that users can try out the most basic prompts without writing them. Below that you can enable capabilities that you would need for your GPT. For this one we will need web browsing to extract info from the internet and that's it. You also have a knowledge base that can be very useful if you want to tailor GPT to give answers according to the specific data, which might be very helpful for extracting info from large documents. Simply upload a file and train GPT on the data you need. Now once we've adjusted all the details, let's give it a try. I'll give it a similar prompt to the one we gave Write for me GPT. Write a 1000 word article on the future of AI. As you see, it structures answers in bullet points, which is not good for a writing tool. Let's check the word count. 698 words, already better than the previous GPT. Once we know how our GPT performs, we can refine it. So I give it an adjusting prompt. Do not structure the main body as bullet points and make sure you reach the estimated word count. Now that we refined, let's try it once again. Similar prompt, write a 1000 word article about the history of AI. I like this structure, it's more complex and there are no numbers and no bullet points. So let's check the word count, 758 words, good improvement. Still less than the requirements, but let's not forget that the tier 1 GPT gave us less than 600 words. Once you've adjusted everything, click the create button. You can make your GPT private, accessible through a link or publish it to the GPT store. Click the option you need and view GPT. Let's make a final test. I pick the first conversation starter and receive a very decent text with a good structure. The word count for this text is 762. I think that this GPT is a good competitor to write for me, which is a tier 1 writing GPT. If you are interested in building AI chatbots and advanced GPT models, I found a perfect solution for you. At FutureChat we specialize in building cutting-edge, 
custom tailored AI chatbots and GPT models to enhance your customer support by reducing the workload of your customer support by 70% and also automating the lead generation and appointment setting processes. If you're ready to elevate your customer support and lead generation using advanced AI technologies, go to futurechat.co and fill in the contact form to book a free consulting call. And we'll discuss how we can build a perfect AI chatbot solution for your business. Moving on to the next popular GPT. This time, let's go for the daily list. There is a very interesting GPT called Curtainize Yourself, which is ranked in the third place. Let's try it out. I'll go for the first conversation starter and curtainize my pet. It asks me to upload a photo of my pet. I uploaded it and in 30 seconds it gave me this fantastic image. Ok, let's recreate this GPT. I go to the GPT builder and write the prompt. I want to be able to upload an image of a person, then the GPT will take this image and create a new image with this person in Disney cartoonish style. I don't like the default name, so let's change it to Cartoonize Me. The default profile picture doesn't demonstrate the capabilities of my GPT, so let's go for a cartoonish character. This profile picture is much better. Now let's highlight the focus on Disney-like image generation. It asks how it should respond in case of uncertainty. Better to solve it through clarifying questions, so I type ask clarifying questions. And the last question is the style and tone of communication. Let's go for the cheerful tone. Once our GPT is updated, let's test it. I use prompt make this for a cartoonish and upload an image. The result is not good yet. The character doesn't look like Elon at all and the clothes doesn't match either. So let's refine the GPT. I write adjustments. Make cartoonish characters look more like people on uploaded photos. Now let's test it with another photo. I upload the photo and type make this person a cartoonish character. Now the result is better, although the eyes don't match. But let's not forget that Daily 3 is not perfect yet and it's hard for him to handle such small details. Now as you see this GPT only works with people and we can cartoonize our pets. Let's fix it. Go to the GPT builder and type enable to cartoonize also dogs and cats. Now Cartoonize Me can also transform pets into Disney cartoonish style images. Let's test it. I give it a prompt and upload photo. It generated a good cartoonish like photo and it looks quite similar to the dog on the uploaded photo. So let's save this GPT and make a final test. I give it a prompt and upload a new photo of the dog. Here's the result. I think that's very good. So in this video I've shown you how you can quickly and easily create your custom GPTs to compete with the top tools on the market. By using the GPT Builder tool we were able to recreate two of the most popular writing and image generation GPTs in under 10 minutes without a single line of code or third-party plugins. As you see GPTs felt something unbelievable in the beginning, but the truth is they are very easy to make. Regarding simplicity they can be very helpful in many use cases. So if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and drop a like down below. This way I will understand that you are interested in my content. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.